All right. So everybody, welcome to our In the Pink Tuesday team call. Super excited to have you all here on the big election night, but you are taking time because we are so excited for Miss Jill Awareness. She is a special, special treat. Um, she's going to share her story with us and also her credentials, which I think is naturopath, but I need to, I wasn't sure, so I want you to tell us. Um, but she is a product expert. I'm sure that many of you guys have actually seen her videos and learned a lot from her videos. I know I've learned a lot from them. Um, so I know that we're going to be really blessed tonight for her to share a little bit about just maybe product knowledge that you've never heard before and also why she picked Plexus and why she's so excited and passionate about it and how they're actually helping her clients. So um, Jill's a good friend of mine and we have had the opportunity to really get to know one another through uh, various events and then spend a a lot of time together in Hawaii and she's helped me with um, a lot of my health um, issues and journey so it's just been we just have a really great relationship and I'm just so grateful Jill that you're on tonight um, and so I'm gonna for, for everybody in the team what I'll do is I, I always have announcements but I'm gonna save those till the end and that way Jill we can respect Jill's time and Jill you can present and then you can stick around if you want to or, or go on and, and do your thing and get back to your own IPA right um, so Jill, I'm just going to turn it over to you to just tell us a little bit about yourself and, um, you know, kind of roll into it. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me, Dawn. I just feel honored. I mean, such a privilege. I'm sorry for my voice, you guys. Um, got a little frog in my throat, so I'm just, I'm fighting that. But um, let me just first say what a phenomenal leader you guys have. Ah, Dawn is a treasure. Um, talk about perseverance and positivity and light and not giving up. I mean, I just, I just adore Dawn. So I'm just thrilled to be here. Thank you, darling. Uh, oh my goodness. So yeah, my name is Jill Warness and I'm a certified health coach. And my, um, my area of study and expertise is cellular inflammation and detoxification. And um, so if you've seen some of my videos, you know, you've seen me draw in circles. I really talk about the cell and, and inflammation and how that really is the root cause of all of these 21st century wonky diseases, which we really didn't see, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And if we did see, we didn't see them in folks until they were, you know, in their 60s or 70s. And now we're seeing all of these, these you know, just crazy diseases in people in their 20s and, and their 30s. We're seeing a lot of Hollywood people coming out in their 20s with MS when, gosh, you know, 30 years ago, that was, if anybody came down with this, something in your 60s or 70s. I remember Annette Bonicello, if anybody remembers from back in the day, she was one of the very first musketeers. And she had come down with MS, and but much later in life. So, it really is about getting to the root cause of these diseases and going upstream and, and kind of peeling back the onion of people's lives. Um, where did you grow up? What kind of home did you grow up in? How many amalgam fillings did mom have? Um, did she work in a factory? What were your working environments? So with these chronic diseases, I really just don't believe that it's something that just happens. Oh, it just happens. Um, I really understand that there is a genetic predisposition to some diseases and illnesses, but there's a whole study called epigenetics, which is just fascinating, where just because you're a carrier of a gene, it doesn't mean it has to be turned on. Um, in my family, there's actually an obesity gene. Well, that has not turned on in my world because of dietary lifestyle changes. Um, to me, it was so unfortunate and sad when I heard about Angelina Jolie, you know, running and getting a double mastectomy simply because she carried a gene, um, because that gene did not have to express itself. It did not have to turn on. And so um, through dietary lifestyle changes, we can keep those genes dormant that we may be predisposed to. So um, I've studied under the top functional medicine docs in the country, um, Dr. Dan Kalish. I did a lot of adrenal studies with him and how stress, really stress and cortisol and what that does in the body and, and insulin resistance. 
and spent a number of years studying under Dr. Dan Pompa, who my husband went to chiropractic school with. So he's an old buddy of ours, but he is really the, the leading top doc when it comes to cellular inflammation and, and detoxification and um, has really just put the pieces of the puzzles together when it comes to um, chronic fatigue and Lyme and, and cancer and autism and, and you know, you, you begin to see the sickest of the sickest people who have been turned away from Western medicine and are like, your labs look fine, so peace out. <laughs> That's really all we care about. But I'm dying on the inside here, Doc. Well, your labs look fine, so you know, I don't know what to tell you. I've done my job. Um, so really, it, it is about treating symptoms and, and getting to the root cause. So... Um, so that's my background. I was uh, very, very, very sick for about 14 years, and that led me down this path of my own journey to get my health back. I had uh, chronic, chronic anxiety, and if anybody knows, before you're about to go out on stage or, or just speak in front of people, maybe at a sip and see or uh, or anywhere, you know, you just get those nerves. Well, I had that. 24 7 so I couldn't wait till about seven o'clock at night to get my babies in bed so I could just go sit on the couch and rest but there was no rest because it just it felt like somebody was strangling me I had a lot of tightness in my throat um, I didn't have anxiety like thoughts racing it was this physical anxiety my, my body would not relax and so then the horror of nighttime came where I would stare at the ceiling all night and cry out to God to heal me for years. And so uh, finally I drove myself to a psychiatrist's office and I said, you put me on something before I hurt my kids because uh, this, is, this is not good. So, you know, I took the big old Band-Aid and threw it on the leaky pipe and it really didn't get much better, but at least I felt like I did something. And so as the wife of a chiropractor, I knew that there had to be a root cause. And so Facebook came out and I hooked up with an old friend from chiropractic school and her husband happened to be Dr. Dan Pompa and he was writing these articles and sharing these videos about inflammation and detox. And at that point, he was telling a lot of information about heavy metals because that was his journey and looked at the list of symptoms associated with mercury and lead poisoning and I, I, I cried. I mean there were about 20 symptoms on the list and conditions and, and I had about 17 and so finally it was validation. My gosh I'm not crazy. <laughs> I didn't inherit this from my mom who my mom had major anxiety and OCD and a host of issues. Well, now I know why, you know, lead transfers from mom to baby in utero. Um, so went through a serious detox, got the metals out of my mouth, changed my whole diet, got off of sugars and grains and, and anything inflammatory. And when I finally got my life back, I was just found my calling. I mean, this, this was it to be able now to share this message of hope because how many young moms were walking around fine how are you oh everything's fine meanwhile you're freaking dying on the inside right with nervousness irritability you want to choke someone <laughs> and so it just i just became transparent and began sharing my struggle and and i really think when you take that mask off when we can just be transparent with one another, it just gives somebody else permission to be real. You know, we're all dealing with junk. <laughs> We've all got skeletons in the closet and, and walking around like everything was perfect. Certainly didn't help my fellow, you know, a fellow friend. So now into my plexus journey. So I was running a functional medicine clinic in my, um, in my husband's chiropractic practice. And uh, folks were getting well, they were getting up their meds, um, but they were just hitting a brick wall when it came to weight loss. And so 
my hairstylist is Jamie Monahan, was Jamie Monahan, a diamond ambassador. And I started going to see her. I was, I cheated on my old stylist. I needed the change and I went to go see Jamie. And uh, about the first or second visit that I went to her, she just started losing weight. Um, she had this glow about her. And so I asked her, I was like, man, you look great, Jamie. What are you doing? And she had on her desk, like a little, like a little brochure. It was a pink, you know, plexus thing. And it said slim on it. Well, I didn't want to have anything to do <laughs> with a product named slim because snooty supplement snob over here thought that anything that said slim or helped with weight loss must have been full of junk and chemicals. So um, Jamie just went on her way, kept getting thinner and looking great and caught the vision and she was working it. And um, I was working in my practice, things were going great, but then my folks just needed, they just needed something for, for weight loss. And so finally it took about, it took about 16 months. <laughs> Jamie said, all right, this is the last time I'm going to say anything to you because she didn't, she didn't mix the two businesses. She was very careful about that. But she said, if you were not sitting in my chair as a client, I would make you do this because she would rock this. Oh, and then she was late for the appointment because she was picking up her plexus Lexus. So that kind of sparked an interest in me. I knew if I could find the right direct marketing company, that that was a path to real freedom. Uh, my husband and I had had our toe in the water and a couple of other direct marketing companies. And as you can imagine, as a chiropractor and a, and a, certified health coach, people are always pitching you <laughs> their latest and greatest vitamin and drink and salve and, you know, anything else. And we found some really great products, but really crappy businesses, just lousy comp plans. And um, so when I saw her not only shed this weight, have this glow about her, but now she was having success in it, I said, all right, this this is something I need to look into a little bit further. So that was a Thursday and Sunday night she was having Diamond Ambassador Allison Bro into town to have a, an opportunity meeting. So she invited me to that. And I'm telling you, I walked in that room all. <laughs> I didn't want to have anything to do with their pink Kool-Aid. You know, I was very skeptical. <laughs> And uh, Michelle Robertson, if any of you know her, was sitting in the front row. She had started a month before me, and she was senior gold already. And very skeptical, Leslie Weaver, another Diamond Ambassador, went through the products, and then the testimony started. And when woman after woman after woman were weeping, crying, telling about their lives being transformed. One had such severe postpartum depression, she just, she couldn't get off the couch. The husband would have to come home in the middle of the afternoon and feed the kids lunch so she could take a nap and have a break. And I mean, that story kind of related to me, you know, as a young mom, just struggling to enjoy these kids and just survive. Uh, someone else had such severe, um, thyroid issues, that exhaustion, exhaustion. She couldn't go to the playground with her kids. I mean, she just wasn't in life, you know, participating anymore. And crying six weeks on the products, she's now got her life back. And she's, she's out, you know, enjoying her kids. And somebody else is sleeping again. And I was like, okay, there, <laughs> there's something to this. <laughs> so... Ran back home, researched all the ingredients in the company, dove in to the background. And I was really surprised that a lot of the ingredients were in these very expensive physician-grade supplements that I was recommending for my clients anyway. And they certainly were not giving me a Lexus. So <laughs> I said, okay, well, I, I think this is something that we could roll with. So I began incorporating it into my clinic. And for folks who were coming in that were brand new clients, I would put them on the triplex right away. And folks were having great results. 
Uh, but then there was kind of <laughs> this, how do I, how do I keep going um, as a practitioner when folks are getting really great results with Plexus, but I am doing, you know, in-depth testing on them and I want them to go down this route and this protocol. And so it was really, it was kind of a hard balance for me to do both. And quite honestly, the pull to do Plexus was so strong. Um, <laughs> I just, I just really couldn't, I couldn't deny it anymore. It was such a strong pull to do that full time. So uh, I would say about seven or eight months into my Plexus journey, I closed my practice and I just haven't looked back. So it has been a remarkable, remarkable journey. Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize that you had closed your practice. So you're doing Plexus full time now. And um, being able to just really utilize all of the experience you have. So love that. I think that's so important to, for everyone to hear, um, you know, what really drew you to the product. So that is wonderful. Um, so what about, what about as far as maybe you're an Emerald Ambassador? And I know you got to Emerald in a pretty short amount of time, 13 months. 13 months. So what are some good business kind of practice tips you could share with everyone as we're all trying to build our businesses? Yes. Um, I, I got to tell you, I had a great two runners under me. Mm -hmm. um, one was rather a, a bit of a surprise. I did not know that she was going to be a little pit bull because she was a little bit on the quiet side, a busy mom of four and um, not someone that I went after at all. She was a client of mine in the clinic at first. And we'd gone to church together and she just really wanted to lose some weight, but caught the vision shortly after myself and um, really had a serious hunger for it. And so um, another girl I pursued and um, I had actually worked with her. She was a business coach and she helped me to get my clinic off the ground and do a lot of um, different types of marketing techniques. She helped me build my website and um, just had a lot of great marketing ideas. Well, she had done another network marketing company for about six or seven years and burnt out and never really made much money and went into a lot of debt, had a lot of products sitting in her garage. And so when I approached her about Plexus, um, she was like, ah, thanks, but no thanks. Um, I have, I have looked at, you know, pretty much every comp plan out there as a business mentor. People pitch me their ideas all the time, but I knew this girl would rock it. So, um, I didn't know also that she had a lot of health challenges. And when I shared the products with her, she said, well, okay, I'll, I'll take them, but I don't want to have anything to do with the business. And, you know, 95% of jewels say that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm one of the rarities. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I think it was four weeks in when a girl who had insomnia for seven years started sleeping through the night. She was like, okay, I think I know these products work. And now let me look at the comp plan. And when she saw the comp plan game over, she was like, are you kidding me? This mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Like, I don't know if Anybody else has been in another direct marketing company before, but there's some crazy stuff out there. I mean, crazy bad comp plans called a binary where you get paid only on your weak leg. Like, what is that? <laughs> so you have this big strong leg. Why would you want to help this person get any stronger? I, I mean, so our compensation plan is ridiculously generous. Um, it's easy to understand. And so the three of us really locked hands and ran with it together. Um, we did a lot of Google Hangouts every Monday night. Um, one Monday night, it was an opportunity event. And the next Monday night, it was team training. And so um, this one girl lived five houses down from me. So I would walk down there on Monday night. And we just did Google Hangout for our team. Now, we didn't have a lot of people at first. I mean, you know, six, seven people watching. 
that we would record these and we would upload them to YouTube and then people would share them. Um, we did a lot of sip and sees. I mean, I am a big, big proponent of events. You have, I mean, it changed my life, right? I, I would, I would not be here if it wasn't for a live event. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is not doing it, do them, please. <laughs> they are everything. Yes, we have a wonderful business that you don't have to have inventory. You don't have to deliver products. You don't have to have, a, um, you know, a, 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 a quotas in order to make your commission. You don't have to have parties. That is true. You don't have to bug your friends. But get a room in a restaurant and, and do these events and line up some people to give their testimonies. Because I'm telling you what, seeing people crying that their lives have been transformed. They don't need to know about the ingredients. They don't need to be a product guru. They don't need to know, you know who cares about, I mean, I care, but Garcinia Cambogia and alpha-lipoic acid and what it does and blah, 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 blah. You get some people up there crying because their lives have been transformed. Where do I sign up? Exactly. And yes. That and they can be really simple. Um, some folks at Jewel Training were talking about um, doing them at a Panera. You know, if you're a busy mom, do it at the playground. Mm -hmm. Doing a Panera. You don't have to stand up and talk in front of everybody. Just pull all the chairs around and really make it informal and casual and comfortable for people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm big about events. So thank you for letting me do your call tonight because next Tuesday night we're having a huge event in Raleigh. <laughs> yes, it looks like a great event. We've been advertising it on our team page. Yes, yeah, so okay. Jill is, if you didn't know, she's from Raleigh. So she's on our She's our neighbor, our East Coast neighbor. Well, let me um, let me see. Does anybody on the team? Do you guys have a question for Jill? Remember, she's really knows a lot about products, has a lot of really great product knowledge, and obviously a, a great um, at building her business. So you guys have her for just a few minutes. So you can ask live, or you can do it in the chat. Anybody? See, so I'll sh I'll show you guys the chat in case you don't know what the chat is. It's over to the right hand side. You can just send a question. Anyone? No one? No question. Omega 3 dominance? Huh? Somebody was saying about omega 3 toxicity. No, it's really, it's called oh. omega 3 dominance. And so um, that was the latest video that I did. I talked about fish oils. Um, so, yeah, folks are taking a lot of fish oils now, and while um, omega-3s are very important, you can, if it's not the right ratio of the three and the six, you can have something that's called omega-3 dominance, and that really breaks down the cell membrane to the point, okay, let me draw a little circle for you to get my notepad from the circle lady. I've got something in my eye, so forgive me. I keep spazzing out. But all right, so we've got the cell. What happens with sugars, bad fats, and toxins is it hardens the cell lining and it makes it very crusty and, and non permeable so that we can't get good nutrients into the cell and we can't get toxic waste out of the cell. So that's a problem. But then there's another problem where the cell becomes too fluid, the cell membrane that's around it, there's too much fluidity. So it's, it's, almost, um, it's, it's almost too soft, if you will. So you've got the problem of inflammation where it's too hard, but then you've got fluidity where it's too soft and it just changes the integrity of the cell structure. And so too many fish oils um, can lead to that. So you've got to have the right balance of threes and sixes and I love that the plant base is a three six nine five and seven and so it puts everything in a really good ratio hmm. that's, right that's a good one cool all right um, so and then I see a question here this is from Amy Amy's just getting started and actually has her very first sip and see this Thursday night. Oh, good, Amy. Yes, I know. I'm so excited for Amy. She's doing it right here in my 
locally, just right across the street from me. Um, and she's interested in your best technique for closing, closing the sale and getting people on board. What do you think? Okay. So you really want to close it that night. So I always have a laptop with me and um, I, made the, I made the mistake at my very first sip and see of saying, well, Jamie Monaghan was there to help me. And I think she was Sapphire by then. She was Push of Her Diamond. And a couple of girls were like, oh, well, this sounds great. I think I'll, set, I'll, I think I'll sign up tonight. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have my computer with me. And Jamie was like, I'll do it on my phone. We can do it. And I go, no, it's too hard. It's too small. And she's like, no, Jill, it's fine. I'll do it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's... like, no, I'll just call her tomorrow. No, but don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that because people go home, they think about it, and then the excitement and the fire is gone. So bring your laptop, and what you want to say is at the end, so we're so excited for you guys to get started. Your lives are going to be so different 90 days from now. You're not even going to recognize it. So in the back of the room, we have the computer, and I want you just to get started tonight. So whoever invited you, well, it's probably you, who, but if you were at a larger event, um, we've got, we've got the laptop here. And if you even wanted to get people to commit that night, you could say something about, and tonight only we're offering a discount off of the membership, you know, $15 off just for this evening. It's already an incredible value at $34.95. Um, but just, you know, anybody that signs up tonight, and I'm so excited for you guys to join my team. We have so much fun and your lives are going to be transformed. All right, let's get going. Yeah, I mean, you just got to ask for it. Yep, that, that's really good advice. Very good. Just um, be bold because we have a gift, right? This is how I talk to my team about it. So there's a ship going down in the middle of the sea, and a couple of us have managed to get all of the life preservers. And you see your friends out there sinking, and you're going to hold that life preserver back and you're not going to throw it to them because you're scared or embarrassed or shy. And that's, you know, kind of selfish. So I feel like we have an obligation to share this incredible tool. Got to regulate your blood sugar. Got to clean up the gut. Got to detoxify. Um, it, it's just, it's a gift. So yeah, we, we've got to share. Okay. What else? Um, how would you offer the discount when they sign up online? Uh, you mean away from you? So you could just say, I'll give, you know, I'm going to offer you $15, drop it in your PayPal account. Yeah. So yeah, Leslie, you could do it that way. You could write a check. You could have cash. You could do it anyway. You know, ten dollar bills ready to hand out, anything like that. Yeah, the cheat sheet that shows what products for specific ailments. Oh, I did see one a long time ago. I think it was on the Darby page in the file section. Are you on that page, Tom? No. Mm -mm. Um. I have a lot of friends on that page. I bet I could get it in on that page if I needed to. Uh, sure, you could. <laughs> I'll see if it's still there. Okay. That's an old resource. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. With gout. Question, Anita. Yeah, that's slim. And the slim and ProBio 5 should really take care of it. Um, mm hmm Because gout is, you know, just a buildup of uric acid. So I've just, I've seen great results with the triplex for gout. Mm -hmm. But they've got to drink their water and... They have to slowly shift their diet, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd love to say Plexus is a magic pill that you can keep on, you know, living in your mess. But, I mean, you know. Yeah. They can only do so much. Yeah, you know, I'm not about that either. You know, you've got it. That, that diet and nutrition is foundational. So, yeah. So, Plexus is, is the tool, but not the magic. So, that's really good. Um, okay. Does anybody have any... Anybody have you and your your voice held up really good, Jill. You did awesome. <laughs> you did. I'm gonna go get a teaspoon of honey and yeah. I've had sour. I was gonna make a little video to it. I've had sauerkraut, kombucha, 
zinc, vitamin C. <laughs> I've just taken it all to get the gut healthy and yeah, boost the immune system. So. Oh, goodness. That sounds like all kinds of stuff that I eat every day, Jill. All these crazy stuff. <laughs> I've never had sauerkraut until lately, but they say it's good for you, me. So I, I, I eat it. Oh, yeah. Food. yeah. Yeah. Anything fermented. And the gas um, you get, the more you need it. Because that's oh. all the bad guys dying off, all of that gas. And people would say, well, I don't like kimchi or sauerkraut because it makes me so gassy. Good. It's doing its job. <laughs> uh huh. That's right. Yes. Um, okay. Does anybody have any else have any questions for Jill before we tell her thank you and goodbye? Anyone? Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for having me, you guys. Y'all, yeah, thank you so much. This is really wonderful. And what a, like, I think Karen said, what a wonderful distraction from all the crazy. You definitely won by popular vote. <laughs> Get on our team call tonight. We are just so grateful. So thank you so much. My and, pleasure. Um, I'll probably, well, I'll see you online, but I probably will get to see you in Raleigh. And oh, you're coming. Super, oh, yeah. Well, our whole team will be there. You're definitely our closest team. So. Oh, Super Saturday. Right, right, right. Okay. Super Saturday. No, no, no. Not to the 15th. I'm thinking Super Saturday. But I might have some team members come. I have a lot of people in Raleigh, so they might be coming to your event. I'll make sure that they come up and say, hey. Good. Good. All right. All right. Well, you guys have an awesome evening. Thanks so Thank much for having Bye, Bye, Joe. Bye. Bye. Um, all right, you guys. I knew that was going to be a great treat. Jill is awesome. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me go through some of our announcements. Make sure. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm a little tired tonight, so I apologize. I'm not nearly as enthusiastic as possible, only because I was in Richmond all day yesterday getting dental work done, and then Charlottesville all day today, and I'm just kind of wiped out. But love you guys. So if I, if you guys are like, I hope she's okay. I'm fine. I'm just sort of tired. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed after this call and catch up. Um, but so let me go through some announcements. Um, let's see. Okay. So, so yeah, I need to go to bed because tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I'm going to do an online opportunity event. So I hope you guys, um, I posted that on the team page with the graphic as well as the, um, the, the link to that. And then so that'll be for my daytime people, anybody that wants to jump on, stay-at-home moms, retired people, people during the day, don't want to do nighttime. And then we're going to do the very same meeting Thursday night at 9 o'clock um, for anybody, you know, for nighttime people. Um, also, Thursday night, tomorrow, no, Thursday night, yeah, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday night. Amy Umflett is having a opportunity meeting in North Suffolk, and I, I'll be there speaking, and so it's going to be a great um, meeting at the La Perilla. So if you have anybody in the Chesapeake area or Portsmouth area or North Suffolk, definitely send them. There's plenty of room at the, the Mexican joint. We'll make sure we order something healthy, right? No, like big cheesy burritos. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so let's see. This Sunday, I hope you guys are coming to the training. I haven't done an, a live training in a lot of months, I think since like May. So I'm excited to get everybody together and to, to do some new training. It's going to be basically out of the, the success guide, but trying to do some also some different leadership training and some morale, looking at some different things. So it's for everybody, not just new people. It's going to be this Sunday from 2 to 5 in downtown Norfolk at the Pasha Meze. Um, so that's right off of Kali Avenue. Um, the, they're giving us the venue. We have our own space. So they're giving us the space, but I would just encourage everyone to order off the menu if you want to. It's not required, but it would certainly help the venue for giving us the free space. Um, so just kind of throw that out there. Um, let's see. Want to talk about corporates and a few. I, this week's pretty, been pretty busy for corporate. They've been sending out a lot of really great emails. First of all, don't forget the November promotion, which is a, you get a combination of any three customers and or ambassadors. You win a very special custom planner. I know I'm excited about that. So it's making me work really hard to get my three. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know. I think Lisa Winecube has. Have you gotten your planner yet? Yeah, Lisa's gotten her planner. I don't know. Any, if you guys want to give me a thumbs up, if you've already earned the planner, I want to know. You can give me the chat or give me a thumbs up. 
Um, so you definitely want to keep working. Again, it can be three customers, three ambassadors, two ambassadors, one customer, any combination of the three. Um, the corporate has also put out some really great what's called shareables in the back office. So I want to encourage you to go to your back office and check out. It's like the, I don't know, like the fourth icon over and it says shareables. So if you're looking for information on um, Triplex, they've got some really great information and videos that you can share. Um, I recently use the block and there's a really great block video that talks about block and it talks about all the ingredients and it, it basically you just kind of click share and it, you can email it like right from the back office to your people um, or you can put it right on Facebook so it's really easy and then you can customize it um, so anyway I thought I was I've been pretty excited about the shareables it's very very professional and really easy to use and I think they're going to be adding different shareables. So right now I think it's block, mostly block and triplex, but there might be some other things too. Um, let's see. They, corporate has also sent an email out to all of our past customers about block. So uh, I think we, we as ambassadors should, should be following up with all of those emails because it's just, it's really great marketing. You know, they've sent out an email about, Hey, get ready for the holidays. We've got this wonderful product block. You can order, um, you know, to help block sugar and carb absorption. They've sent that out to your customers and all your past customers. Absolutely, we should be following up with a quick message, a quick email, a quick text. Hey, did you see that, you know, information about blogs? Do you have any questions? I think it'd be really great for you. So, you know, the more that we're doing kind of leading up to the holidays, um, the better our return, all those seeds are, you know, we're going to get a good return on those seeds. So um, anything that corporate does like that, I think we need to, we as ambassadors, it's our job to really maximize it by following up. Um, corporate also put out something called the Sunny and Share blog, which is pretty clever and cute. And I saw it. It's in the back office, so go check it out. It has all kinds of good, fun information. And I'm pretty sure that they launched our mobile site. I went to my Plexus back office today off of my phone, and voila, it was mobile friendly the first time ever. I don't know if anybody else has done that, but today it was mobile friendly. Um, so it was really easy to check. The back office looks completely different now when you go to it on your phone. And it's really, it's very easy to navigate. So I was, didn't know about it until I tried it today. So it was super pretty exciting. Um, so very good. Let's see. I think, that was it. I want to make sure we got all of our November events. I know a lot of um, we're doing uh, as a part of the larger a part of our team is we have a challenge going on called the Tough Love Challenge, Tough Love to Maui. We've got a lot of people that are on this call in that challenge. Um, and one of the challenges is for groups of people to be doing online opportunity events. And so you might see some graphics coming out. A lot of people in our team are going to be doing these online opportunity events over the next few weeks, and I'm sure that they'll be open to the whole team. So there's going to be lots and lots of opportunities for you guys to be able to invite your guests, invite, invite your fence centers to just hop online, you know, make it fun, say, hey, hop on in your PJs, you know, just learn a little bit more about Plexus, no pressure. We don't want your money, you know, really utilize all of the things that we're doing um, to get your fence centers just because like, like Jill just said, once people hear the testimonies, they can't help but want to be a part of it. They can't help but go want more information. Um, and so really, it, it, it's so much more powerful than just sending an email or sending a product ingredients or, or directions, you know? So any opportunity that you have to send your people, your people that are interested to an live events are the best. I mean, there's no question that live events are the best, but if they can't get to a live event or you're far away, I know some of you guys are in other states, get them to these online opportunity events. And that's what we're doing a lot of them this month and kind of leading into December because we're all about um, really seed planning and making sure that people are getting, having an opportunity. Um, you know, to, to change the quality of their lives through their health. So, uh, oh yes, Leslie, I, I'm, I thought about that when I was getting ready for this meeting too, and I missed his help. So yes, Leslie Webb is hosting her first sip and see this weekend on Saturday morning in Smithfield, um, which is a little bit down the street for me, but it's also good for people that are in like the peninsula because it's not far. You can just cross um, the James River Bridge. 
so yes, at 9 a.m. at the Cockeyed Rooster Cafe in the Farm Fair Shopping Center. So I think that's going to be really, really a really good meeting. So super excited. We've got two brand new people holding their very first sip and seeds. So that is super exciting. Um, okay, did I miss anything else, guys, that's coming up or any other announcements for the team? Everybody good? Okay, and Super Saturday registration is currently going on. I have heard that Raleigh is sold out and so is Philly. I don't know, They've sometimes they'll look for larger locations, so they might be in the process of doing that. So we might have some more spots open up. And sometimes they'll add locations, that's always a possibility too. So it's just because you ha if you haven't gotten in, there still might be a chance, and so don't worry. Um, okay, anything in that I missed, you might think of? No. Okay. Well, I just want to, as always, like to close out. We got 16. We had about half our, half the people today. I'm, I'll go ahead and stop recording here.